Hello guys, so today I'm going to show you how I make my rhinestone tumbler. First thing I usually do is to sand down my tumbler, but um, for this case, you don't really have to sand down the bottom part, but I accidentally sand down so much. And for this, I've already pre-cut my vinyl and already pasted it on my sanded down tumbler. All that is done, um, for my case, I don't have the rhinestone picker or something like that. So I'm going to DIY my own rhinestone picker, so-called rhinestone picker. For this, I'm using a normal stick, a stick that... Is, this is actually a kid's stick <laughs> that I found in um, my kid's toy. So I'm actually just using any stick that I can find. And then... Um, and then I'm also using blue tag for this. Another word for it is adhesive tag. So you have to activate the adhesive tag first before using it. After that, you place it at the tip of your stick and the DIY rhinestone stick is done. Just testing out if um, the stick actually really works. And then for the glue, I'm using the liquid fusion and I put it in a small container just like this bottle. I put it in my local art store and I'm also using the for the rhinestone, I'm actually using the 10SS instead of the normal 30SS because um, the smaller the size, the sparklier it looks and also um, in terms of placement, it's actually much easier to fill in the holes. So I'm going to put my rhinestones in this um, Tree. It's actually a baking tray, but um, I put it in the baking tray and then I shake it a bit so that um, the the rhinestones can flip on its own, and it's much easier to pick up. Okay, so. When I started this, I did not, I, I, I haven't received my black rhinestones. So that's why I went on with my white first. But I didn't think it would make a difference if I were to start with black first or white first. But actually, it does. So my advice for you is actually to start with the black vinyl first. Or whatever vinyl you're using because it's much simpler and you don't have to um, worry about the so-called complications that you will meet along the way. I will explain further when we've reached that stage when I realise my mistake. I would like to give away one packet of um, 20SS crystal rhinestone to one subscriber of mine so um, I will put it on the description box on how you can enter this giveaway extremely time consuming however it is so beautiful that I had to stop and admire my tumbler every few minutes at this point also I really wanted to be done and over with because it's so exhausting you can see that I haven't do the black part yet in this video and that's the mistake right there because I didn't know how much space to leave and although it seems that like I gave ample space in between but the fact is when I try to fill in the space after putting the black part it was very difficult because 
some rhinestones wouldn't fit into the little crevices. Even with the smallest rhinestone, it was a little bit difficult because um, there's just not enough space. So that's why I say don't start with the white if possible. Don't start with the outer if possible. Start with the vinyls first. And I'm almost halfway done the gumbler. And I have, I've only actually used like half of this small little glue bottle. And I haven't topped up yet. So that's very little glue. And this glue is pretty strong if you ask me. So if along the way your blue tag or your adhesive tag doesn't seem to be able to pick up any more rhinestones, then um, you can just take it out and so-called reactivate it again and then put it back and it will be as good as new. of rhinestone which is 4 SS 6 SS and 10 SS just to fit in nicely in this tumbler after it's been filled up Bear in mind that I'm using 10 SS and not the 
20SS. But when this is all done, it is so beautiful and so sparkly that I, I find it difficult to part with this tumbler. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy this video and if you like it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye-bye. Don't forget to join the giveaway.